Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, I'll be showing you a technique that you can use to constrain the rotation of an object to a single axis. That might seem pretty specific, but it actually comes up in a circumstance that can be very useful to you. Take, for example, this lighting rig. You can see that the light, the way that it's set into this frame, is that it itself can only rotate up and down, up and down. And the ring that it is set in can only rotate left and right, left and right. And of course, the frame holds still. But I'm also using a look at constraint, which can go in both axes at once. So how do you set up a rig to do this? It's surprisingly easy. A friend of mine clued me into this, um, named Freddy on the forums. I have here another rig without any hierarchy or constraints, and I'll show you how to set that up. So first things first, I'm going to link my light, the mental ray area omni light, to the light cone. And I'm also going to link this ring to the light cone as well. Because no matter where I move that look at constraint, the cone is always going to be looking at it, both axes. So that's set up. I want these bolts to follow the ring as well. So we'll do that. And then these bolts will never move because the frame never moves. But if you needed to set that up, you could. So let me give you a quick demonstration of this. If I go to Animation, Constraints, Look At, and I click on my dummy, you'll notice that if I move the dummy around, the ring follows the dummy. And that's not what we want. We want the ring to only move left and right, and the light to only move up and down. So I'll move that back. I'm going to delete my look at constraint. We get back to zero rotation. And I'm going to select that ring. And under the hierarchy tab, under link info, you'll notice that we can constrain the rotation that it gets from its parent. Remember that the light cone is the parent. I'm going to disable x and y rotation. And that leaves only z axis rotation. So now when I select my light cone, and reapply that constraint, look at, look at the dummy, you'll see now that the rig behaves properly. And this has applications well beyond just making these light rigs. It has huge implications when you're putting together any kind of inorganic mechanical rigs, including characters. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.